back, my fellow plastic crack aficionados. So yeah, it's true. It's true. The poxus wave has dropped and we have it in hand. So you know, I didn't get poxus. And kind of got, I mean, I don't know. I'll talk about that in more detail. But, uh, but yeah, poxus wave is here. I did not get the whole wave. I, you know, budgets as always. So I picked up the ones that most appealed to me. Uh, guys with bows and arrows like that. The, the bows, the arrows get lost. The bows, I don't know. It's just not my thing. And I didn't really feel like I needed to have all the horsemen. So I got the three again. You know, got a few, not just three, but uh, a few that appealed to me. Uh, not a not a huge line, so it's a smaller line, which is good. I like it when they do the smaller waves. Uh, makes it, you know, so you're not breaking the bank, as it were. And so for today, we have Thrace Wraithmaker. She looked pretty cool. Uh, collecting the chicks was kind of fun. That's right. I'm from the 80s. I said chicks. Never call, what is it? What it is, uh, never call chicks broads. But uh, from UHF, you ever see that? If you're a Gen Xer, you're not going to get upset. If you're not a Gen Xer, eh, you might have a tizzy. And if you do, well, you know, this might not be the place for you. I'm happy to have you. But, you know, you need to lighten up a little bit. So, anyways, yeah, I like collecting the chicks. They're, they're pretty fun. Got, uh, yeah, I got quite a few up there on the shelf behind me. I was just kind of looking behind me. And the addition of soft goods makes it just that much cooler. So, and the, you know, the black and white contrast seems pretty cool. So we are going to unbox her, review her today, uh, check her out, not in that way, but you know what I mean. And uh, I think that the cool thing with this set, uh, magic effects, and we're gonna talk about that in a little bit more detail. Uh, got some magic effects. Uh, where did I put that? So they have, I have not unboxed this yet, but they had a whole set of good guy and bad guy magic effects for some reason i got the i got the heroic magic effects not the evil magic effects i think it's because one of the guys i have is evil and he comes with some so i figured i didn't need them but now i'm kind of wishing i'd gotten the bad guy ones also um the other thing that should be noted uh actually maybe i'll do a special video on the magic effects but yeah, yeah, we'll come back to that so overall, they look cool, but we'll talk about that in a separate video. For today, we're talking about Thrace. So let's, as always, appreciate the box art, right? You notice a slight difference here? It's kind of greenish and purple. It's pretty cool. Uh, and let's, wow, is that the normal Mythic Legions lore on the back? Uh, is a mythos? Yes, it is. I'm not going to read all that. Uh, you can read that on your own time. What I will read is the bio. So, if I can get that reflection out of there. Okay. So, elusive and dangerous. The pale-skinned... Unmate... What? Who may... A mang... I don't know. Are, is there a race? Are mangst? Are thought by many to be apocryphal. A corrupt supernatural mingling of flesh and phantasm. Hmm. The ashen-skinned... Uh, Umangeist. Hmm, Okay are all too real to those unfortunate enough to cross their path. Thrace Wraithmaker's ambition <clears throat> has driven her to augment her deadly capabilities by learning the ways of summoning magic. Thrace's inherent connection to the spirit world heightens her abilities to devastating effect. An unquenched lust for power eventually drove her into the fold of the Circle of Poxus, where Thrace Wraith... Oh, is it Wraith Hailer? Oh, Wraith Hailer, not Wraith Maker. Uh, Thrace Wraithhaler emerged from the shadows as a transformed being created by the horrific, med, uh, horrific melding of unnatural magical powers. My eyes is getting bad or what? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's check her out. I'm excited. And you, you, you've, you guys ever go in and order from the set and then like, you know what? I kind of, you know, later on, go, oh, I wish I'd ordered this one or maybe this one just doesn't appeal to me as much as it did previously oh that's right she comes with the purple cloak oh uh, yeah that happens to me all the time but let's go here so we have got her purple cloak oh nice 
Okay, so let's do this a little bit more with these. Uh, what do we have here? We have extra sets of hands, which is relatively new-ish for the Mythic Legions. I don't remember Mythic Legions really coming with too many sets of hands previously. Uh, we have her shoulder pads. So good 90s fashion and shoulder pads. And we have a couple magic effects here. I think those will go along her staff. Oh, that, oh, I like it. So that one looks, because you can see it, that one looks kind of like a snake. That one looks kind of like a skull. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to get that out of there, aren't we? That's kind of neat. I didn't, I didn't notice that when purchasing. So, yeah, ah, nice. So a little, you got to be careful. Okay. It's a little fragile, but it's cool. I wish I got more bad guy ones. This one... Is twist tied in there. Now this is going to make storage of these that much more of a pain in the butt. Right? You know, you've probably seen my my video on how to store your action figures. How are you going to store these without them breaking? Excuse me. So this one looks like a snake. Uh, oh, you could do some cool Master of the Universe homages with this. Give this to me in like blue. Or Something more Master Universe related, and I could put that on Skeletor or something. The Snake Men. Very cool. The Snake Staff. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty neat. Okay, so we're going to put that over there. I'm going to put the hands over there. Let's get her out of here. Again, twist ties, not as bad as... Elastic band sometimes. Oh. And silica gel. And oh, of course, the little sheet that says, warm these up before you let them out. In fact, they, they included in this box a giant, a big sheet. It says, hey, it's winter time. It's cold out. Warm your figures up. I basically sat the box down near the wood stove for several hours. And uh, that warmed up. That's for sure. Get this tape out of here. Be gone. And these are some killer soft goods. I mean, that's nice and soft. Yeah, you get the, the ability to. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, man, that's pretty cool. I collect dust like mofo, I bet. But these dust resistant fabric. The, the soft goods really are taking it to the whole, taking these figures to the whole new level because previously, you know, it would have been plastic. So just the fact they're adding in these soft goods, I think it, I don't, I don't collect other action figure lines really. So I don't see too many other action figure lines that have soft goods like this, but yeah, we're going to go down. Let's check this out. So obviously super pale skin i think that that's what makes it you know the contrast there the white the gray you know they're not quite white the grayish the eyes very cool and let's check out the eyes because sometimes with these figures not so much mythic but other action figure lines you get the derpy eyes none of that here none of that here you got some cool this would be cool like just kind of if you just drop in some color there <clears throat> excuse me Maybe some purple or some blue or something. Uh, you could throw you know, a little bit of color on the gems if you're so inclined to do that. And I think that then she'd really pop. Uh, this belt seems to be, I'm trying to see if that is separate. Okay, it's separate. It felt like it was kind of one piece, but it fits into this really well. So you get the belt, got the buckle, got the little stud there. I mean, you got the... <clears throat> the detail that's what makes these figures so cool uh i need to find a game where i can use action figures tabletop games that'd be so sweet uh got me thinking now anyways you just bring your own action figures okay and this this whole thing this skirt's pretty cool she's got the boots you know we're gonna let her have her privacy but overall we got 
the boots they're kind of a brown leatherish the studs got that very cool and a bit in the bodice here we got look at this even can you, is that coming across in this video you get the silver eyelets come on come on. I mean, yeah it's just killing it killing it with that detail so yeah you get your standard articulation right you know you got your got that you got your shoulder you got your standard elbow that they have which mythic does not use the double elbow which <coughs> recently i was playing with uh, one of the master universe figures and i kind of figured out why people like the double elbow you do you are able to get it you know to tighten that much more and so I'm like okay i get it it's cool uh, I forget why these guys don't do it. Maybe they will eventually. But, yeah. No, I'm still looking at the detail here on the boots. But again, standard articulation. Ooh, can we get the hair out of the way? Yeah, check that out. That's pretty cool. I don't know, have we seen this this bodice yet? This, this outfit? I mean, it's very cool. <clears throat> the skirt, very awesome. I like the, you know, I like the look of it. The fact that they thought about, hey, we want to be able to move in this while being, you know, a warrior, uh, but also elegant. <clears throat> yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, <clears throat> now I definitely feel like I'm playing with dolls. Uh, my kids always like to say that. <clears throat> Dad's playing with his dolls. And, yeah, when they start adding in these soft goods, it's starting to feel like it. I'm going to have to rethink some things here. Uh, rethink some life choices. So, let's put here her here on the side pretty sure to get the cloak off you have to pop her head off put the cloak on um because this appears to be yeah that is that is sewed together there which i get makes sense you probably could have gone with a hook but that's more work more money nothing ripped this is my dry skin okay so i may put that on her. i haven't decided yet I'm not sure why the different. Let's look at the head. This other head. I'm not sure why the difference there. I guess probably because this one has all the hair coming down the front, so this one would probably work a little bit better with the cloak. So if you wanted to have the, the hood up, right? Uh, look at those eyes though. Arm staring into your soul. Uh, so yeah, you get two heads. I'm thinking the cloak might not work too well with uh, with the hair in the back. I haven't decided if I'm going to put the cloak on her or not. Hmm, can't decide. And then she has one weapon that goes along with the. Uh... Oh, this is going to be a butt to you know? I hate it when they do this. So it kind of snakes through here. Right, which always kind of drives me nuts. How do you get it out? What room? I just kind of popped it and then I'm ah! breaking it. Apparently, that's how you get it out. It's not broken. It's meant to do that. I hope. Do this, pop it down the bottom. Do that. Okay. cool little thing there it's almost i almost feel like i want to glue that because it's pretty li like it's i don't know like if you if your figure does a nose dive off of the shelf and lands on the floor with this i could totally see this popping off and disappearing into the ether never to be seen again but i could be wrong i could be totally wrong oh shoulder pads too i kind of want to put those on I don't know. What do you think with the, the chicks with shoulder pads? Should they leave them off? Notice they left room there. The hair to go over the shoulder pads. See? They know what they're doing. Let's put them on. Oh, again, I, I did I did I say this yet? Go look at my store, buy some stuff. Support the channel, as it were. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Store link is in the description down below. I'll put it here. And then, of course, donate and get the chance to, to win one of the t-shirts I put up. 
And anybody know the rules? Can anybody tell me if you're taking action figure pictures? So you're taking a picture of an action figure. You're creating art with that action figure. You can sell that art, right? I think you can. Uh, it's like, I look at it just like taking a picture of a car. And then you're able to sell that art. Because you bought the car. You didn't invent the car. You didn't create the car. But you own the car. And you own the art. Otherwise, photographers would never sell a dang thing. Okay. This is always the tough part. I kind of want to, when you put these shoulder pads in, you kind of want to rock them back and forth. I find that helps. Sometimes, I should do this so I keep a little sandpaper there. Just, you know, just take some of the nub off there. Oh, sometimes a little bit of spit never hurt, honestly. Oh, that, wow, that's so much better when you get it in there, right? See? See the slight gap still? All right. We got that in there pretty well. Uh, do we want to see the cloak while we're at it? Might as well. Cut her head off. Okay, yeah, I, I think I'm going to put the shoulder pads on because they just look sick. And I feel like the cloak is going to cover up a lot of this. So I do not think I'm going to be displaying mine with the cloak. To be honest, I get the cloak is cool, but. And people will say, well, dude, what are you doing? You're. Can you get the cloak? You know, Whoa. See, there goes her head. Off with her head. What are you doing? You get that cool cloak. You pay for the cloak. It's part of the package. Why are you not displaying it? You know what? Maybe I'll sell the cloak. No, I can't do that because then if I ever sell the figure, um, people are going to want it complete with the cloak. So I'll save it. But don't get me wrong. It looks cool. But it covers up all the awesomeness. In my opinion. But I like the fact that you've got you've got options. Right? You get display options. But in my opinion, these cloaks are just covering stuff up. Yep, cloak's coming off. But you saw how it goes on. It goes on very easily. Uh, she could easily have one arm sticking out of here and holding her weapon. But we're not gonna do that because I feel like again. I can't really see the whole figure. So, let me get that cloak off of there. Oh, this kind of popped off. Belt belongs down in this general area. Again, not sure what that's holding on. Oh, it's got her pouches. Yeah, we're going to put this head back on. I just like it better. The hairstyle a little better. And you have the staff, not the staff infection, but the staff. Dude, where does your mind go? You are mental. Okay. Yeah, that's a cool look. I like it. Like I said, the cloak is cool, but yeah, it's just, yeah. And what would be really cool is if, like, this stuff fit on here, on the staff. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm trying to figure out how best to do this. I don't think that's going to work. What you're going to want is you're going to want this. This is going to go on the staff, right? Okay. Kind of go like this. This is, you know, just making sense here from an engineering standpoint. I'm not an engineer. This seems very Masters of the Universe snake staff right here. And then. this so 
then if you can give me a stand all the better which I have no doubt I'll be able to get it to stand it's just sometimes it's difficult to pose them on camera put it back here I'll bring that up just a little bit so you get a better view so yeah there she is <clears throat> overall I think a pretty cool figure uh, again I like the contrast of the color <laughs> excuse me the color contrast you know the black with the, the very white skin and hair uh, which is Targaryen is very cool this she's probably gonna have on her arm in some way shape or form she shoots snakes out of her staff and death out of her hands and I'm not sure how I feel about this honestly but we'll have to look at the uh, the magic effects at some point but yeah cool figure I like it the magic effects are pretty cool we're gonna see how how those come out with some of the other figures coming up <clears throat> uh, kind of wish I bought in the bad guy ones I did not but yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below lover hater did you did you get this one what do you think of the cloak again cloaks cool mine's not gonna wear it uh, I'm gonna keep all that in the extras bag so to speak but yeah, thanks for stopping by. Mythic Legion's reviews always take a little bit longer than the Master of the Universe ones, as you can tell. Uh, a lot more going on. I mean, that just says a lot for, for the Four Horsemen and what they do and the work they put into their figures. I think they do a good job. Uh, but, oh yeah, I forgot to uh, show the, I did show the hands briefly, uh, but you get some spell casting hands. So that's kind of cool. I might put the spell casting hand like on the left. So she's holding the staff and she'd be like, Oh, spell casting. Oh, and it just fell on the floor. Nothing broken. This time. Maybe next time. So, yeah, again, thanks for stopping by. I've uh, got a few more of these to do this week. And see ya.